Hello together, welcome to the how-to buddies. Today we're gonna set up the Emporia Smart 6 in this video and you can see here I have here the Emporia Smart 6 and I will just um, take this off and the first thing I'm gonna do is to just turn it on and I press on the button and then it will start and we can see here the Emporia logo and powered by Android. So Emporia uses Android at this moment uh, while we are uh, making this video it's uh, Android 13 so and here you can see um, the logo and we can start um, as you can see here it's first in German but it can also be that you will sh be shown here another language so you can change the language here if you just press here and then you can change perhaps for English Germany but you can also change it to English and then uh, uh, choose another region okay so it's uh, just how you like it you can also change the vision settings if you have problems with your vision you can change the display size and text to just increase the font size and the display size and so on and so forth magnification select to speak and talk back so just choose the things that you, which are important for you you can make an emergency call but we don't want to make an emergency call at this moment so we'll just start uh, start right away so we click on start and the first thing it says is connect to a mobile network if you have a sim card inserted now we don't put in a sim card at this moment we're going to show you how to insert a sim card in the next video so we just click here on skip and then we have to connect to a Wi-Fi network select the network well I'm gonna select our network and then you must put in your password after you have put in your password you just click on connect and then it will connect right away to your network now it's getting your phone ready and um, it says this may take a few minutes and uh, that's correct so um, we have already set up uh, this phone uh, some uh, days ago and it took about three or four minutes um, with other mobile phones it can take only 30 seconds or something so just wait a little bit until everything's fine and you can choose the next step all right, in the next step, you can now copy apps and data if you have a previous phone. So if you click on next, then you can connect your phone, with your old phone with the new phone, and then you can just transfer some uh, data. But uh, we don't want to do this, and I just prefer to set up a phone always completely new and then transfer the data later on. So I just click here on don't copy, and then it says checking info. And now it's time to sign in with your Google account. Since it is an Android phone, you need a Google account to use the App Store and other things. So if you don't want to uh, sign in with your Google account and you don't want to have one, then this uh, Smart 6 from Emporia is pretty useless. So you must sign in with your Google account. If you don't have a Google account, then you can create a, an account pretty easily here. But I will now uh, sign in with my Google account. So I just type in my email address. After that, I'll type in my password. After I have clicked next, it will come to the Google Terms of Service and you can of course read the Google Terms of Service, Google Play Terms of Service and the privacy policy. But uh, as you know, we cannot change anything that Google wants us to do. So I just click on agree. And now it's getting the account info, getting your account info, and after some seconds we'll get to the next screen. Now we're going to set up some Google services. The first one is use, uh, use basic device backup, so easily restore data, so we'll leave this switched on. The second thing is use location. You can turn off location of course, but then you can, cannot use Google Maps and so on, so we just leave it on. Also, allow scanning is also pretty interesting if you are at a cafe or at other places, so we'll leave this on also. And send usage and diagnostic data, I'll turn this off because uh, other people can use this install updates and apps here we cannot have um, a chance to change it so I'll just click on accept and now the uh, Emporia Smart 6 tells us to choose a pin to um, to set up our screen lock we can also uh, see screen lock options like pattern pin and password but we will show you all of this in an additional video so we we'll just click on skip 
Skip setup for pin, uh, face and fingerprint. A pin is required to set up face unlock and fingerprint unlock. A pin protects the phone if it's sto lost or stolen. So don't forget to do it, okay? But we're gonna show you how to do it in a special video. So I'll just click on skip at this moment. And then you can access your assistant with Hey Google. If you say Hey Google, then you can tell this Emporia Smart 6 to do some things like what's the weather this, like uh, this weekend or other things. So I'll just click on more and then I'll, uh, I agree. And then after we have set up this, teach your assistant to recognize your voice. And I say also, I agree. Okay, Google, what's the weather tomorrow? Okay, Google, set a timer for five minutes. Hey, Google, make a call. Hey, Google, remind me to water my plants every Monday. Sounds great. Just a second. Access your assistant without unlocking your device. So uh, if even if it's locked, then it will recognize your voice and then you can talk with your Emporia Smart 6. Anything else? Set up a few more things now or find them later in the settings. Add an, another email account. Change how text displays. Change wallpaper. I will say no thanks. And now it's getting my phone ready. And the interesting thing is it starts automatically here with the standard uh, Android screen. So you can see here the standard uh, Android uh, buttons and icons and so on and so forth but you can see her big button start Emporia so I click on it and then you can read and agree to the terms and conditions declarations and app per permissions I click on next now set the Emporia app as your home app to do this tap one next and to Emporia so next and set Emporia as your default home app I say Emporia and then say set as default and now we have a complete different screen. So I just put in my name. I will just uh, say um, Alpa. So here I say Alpa. I can select a, um, an age range. So I can say 56 to 60. That's not true. Of course, I'm 18, but it doesn't matter. And gender male. And you don't have to put in um, your email address. So I just click on finish. And then here you have the Emporia screen, the setup. It's pretty easy with large icons and it's very, very easy to use. So you can swipe to the left and swipe to the right with your favorite apps or all apps. And we'll uh, show you how to use this uh, apps in a different video. So at this moment, we are ready with our setup and everything's finished and you can start now using your Emporia Smart 6. I hope this video helped you a little bit. If yes, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and we'll see you the next time. Bye bye.